Huh. Let's see here. I posted a video response last night, but it was uh, really late. So uh, I really didn't get across what I wanted to. I just had a quick thought. But uh, this idea of yours, of, of I don't understand what you're saying about re religious. What's wrong about it? All I did was go and interview, basically, religious leaders and people who believe these things. And then they put their beliefs in the light of truth with a big spotlight on them to say exactly what their belief is. And they're all ridiculous. And he asserts they're ridiculous. And he lets us know and shows us the ridiculousness of religion, which is why the movie's called Religious. He just, you probably don't get it because you consider yourself an agnostic. Like I said last night, agnostic is a cop out. It comes down to this it's, 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 it is black and white, period. We either believe in God, God, gods, or whatever, supernatural creator beings, or you don't. You either believe they're there, or you believe, or you don't believe they're there. I mean, that's all there's to it. Everybody wants to put all these uh, all people like you and others like you that like to hedge their bets. You want to add new definitions to the word religion, even or a new definition to the word faith. Uh, they even tried to redefine the word theory, you know, in scientific terms. It isn't necessarily that they don't know the evidence or don't have the evidence. This is what they call it. It's a word, it's a phrase, it's a, a label, like the theory of evolution. We know it's a fact. We know it's real. You just call it the theory of evolution. You have to. Because in science, you have to be empirical. The evidence has to show exactly what you hypothesize or you cannot say it is so. That's all there is to it. So, is there a God? No. It's silly to even think so. It's illogical to assume that you have to know one way or the other. Yeah, and you know, what, what difference does it make? Why do you think you have to have a decision? as far as whether there is a, a God or not, because this is how it is. If you believe in God, well, then you're delusional. If you think there's a creator being, no matter what the rules of any religion, it doesn't matter, even the very basic whatever, it doesn't matter. If you believe there's a God, you're delusional. You've been indoctrinated. Brainwashed for some. And you've been brainwashed so badly that even you call yourself an agnostic because you don't want to admit that you know there is no God. You, you seem to think people will think you're unintelligent because you say there's no God and you believe there's no God and you don't believe in any other kind of supernatural beings. It's silly to try to qualify it or quantify it. It just doesn't make any difference. It either is or isn't. And it isn't. Absence of proof is proof of absence. Contrary to popular belief, absence of proof is proof of absence. Do you understand that? So, are you an atheist or not? Do you believe in God? You say you, you, you believe in something. You say that you believe there's something out there. That's just silly. Okay, then you're an atheist. I mean, then you're, you're a believer. That's all there is to it. Okay? I know I misspoke. But you said yourself, I, there's something out there. I believe, I don't think it's a religious telling us all the, It's still, you think there's some kind of God. That's just silly. That's not agnostic. That's just silly. It's just hedging your bet. It's not realizing that you're a human being. And that all of these things that were thought up, all these gods and all that, they came from the mind of human beings. Because think about it, if this all-loving, omnipotent God created everything, 
that means it created Hitler, Stalin, and all the other terrible things that have been going on in this world, and supposedly knows they're going to go on, and allowed it to happen. What the hell kind of cruel, cruel deity is that? You get my drift? All right. I'm going to sign off. That was my real answer from uh, that uh, your little diatribe about <laughs> Bill's movie. Uh, you don't like it? Too bad. Don't see it. But don't come on and lie about it. And if you don't like it, say you don't like it. But you got it all wrong. You got yourself all wrong, apparently. So we'll see you later. It was a good video, though. I mean, I mean, you speak well. But you should speak more correctly. You should at least get your facts straight. You should at least... Try to try to discern what agnosticism really is. If you want to call yourself that, you need to figure out what it is. And it's just a cop out. You say you believe there's something, well then you're a theist. Okay? That's all there is to it. Later. If you're not, say you're an atheist. It's not unintelligent. In fact, I would say the brain trust of the world is atheist. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I'd say the top 100 people in intelligence in the world, at least 90% of them don't believe in God. Because it's an unintelligent proposition. It's illogical. Get that? Later. Yeah, I'm Gerald Reynolds. This is Portland, Oregon. I had to have my say about that, kiddo. I didn't mean to diss you, but that's how I feel. Yeah.